So I want us to make sure that we understand theocracy and the fact that we are looking at any government regime in which the singular sovereign political ruler or the ministers of that ruler are thought to be divine or divinely guided. When we go to the ancient Middle East, you're gonna see these everywhere. We could go to the most famous, probably to us, uh, would be pharaohs, right? And in Egypt, thought to be a god or something really darn close to it, who uh, played vital roles in rituals, such as ensuring the Nile flooded from year to year and maintaining the stability of the environment. We can pop to neighboring Mesopotamia in 3000 BC and find a Lugal, or big man, who served as a priest king. Uh, these exist throughout the ancient world, and we're going to see religion continue to play an important role in governments throughout. We can find them in Italy uh, in the 13 and 1400s. Uh, when we get to the Protestant Reformation, they don't go away. If you remember that from your European history course, when you, in your American history course, saw you know, pilgrims coming to the New World, they were establishing theocratic governments uh, in many, many cases. So we will see these all over the place. Make sure we understand that term, because what we want to understand is that frequently religion is the defining piece of our identity in empires. That's going to be incredibly important all year. And if we see religion defining identity, then we're frequently going to see religion as the core focus of our government.